HIV infection causes immune dysfunction, even in individuals undergoing antiretroviral therapy with no detectable virus. This method allows for the study of monocyte function, which are key regulators of the immune response. We have optimized this technique for the isolation, culture, and transfection of human primary monocytes. We use this method to understand the molecular mechanisms of immune dysfunction in HIV-infected individuals, but it can be applied to any other immune studies involving monocytes. If this is your first time working with human blood, remember to follow the proper biosafety protocols and to treat all of the samples as possibly infectious material. After collecting 40 milliliters of fresh human whole blood in four 10 milliliter EDTA vacuum tubes, use sterile technique to transfer all of the blood into a single 50 milliliter conical propylene tube in a biosafety cabinet. Following the manufacturer's instructions from a selected human monocyte isolation kit, add two milliliters of monocyte isolation cocktail from the kit to the tube of blood and vortex the magnetic beads from the kit for 30 seconds. Add 2 milliliters of beads to the blood and use a 25 milliliter serological pipette to carefully mix the beads with the blood. After 5 minutes at room temperature, split the blood equally between 4 50 milliliter tubes and add 30 milliliters of sterile PBS supplemented with 1 millimolar EDTA to each tube.